We are underway from the Coliseum. Ten day road trip for Seattle. They are 4 and 0 oh on it. And the champs have picked up right where they left off and they go inside to Russell. Shot clock down to five. Breland will fire and knock down a three. Defense stayed off, so she just nailed that three-point shot. Breland's third three of the season. She doesn't shoot a lot from out there as Bird has an answer with a three of her own. The free agency trade, rather, in the offseason. Lavender can't handle it underneath, and the Fever turn it over here for the first time tonight as Seattle gets it inside to Brianna Stewart. I've listened to her in interviews, and she's very composed. Um, she's very quietly spoken, but Sue Bird said, don't let that tell you that she's not out there telling them what to do. You know, Robinson saying, Robinson saying Indiana needs to have more of an attack-minded focus, and there is Robinson hitting the jump shots. Bird and Stewart, that pick and roll, which is so lethal. Stewart had it blocked by Breland. Now it's Mitchell, Euro step inside and gets the roll. Well, just a great setup there, defense into offense, but what you don't want to do is allow the Seattle Storm to have a fast break after a made basket. Jessica Breland, she is getting it done and she is accumulating those blocked shots these past few games. They go back inside and Lavender banks that one home. Late 30s, we see Bird doing this at age 40, but Dupree, 16 seasons in. As they feed it inside, Lloyd threw a double team. Pretty finish. He has that ability to, and she's got that ability to really stretch from like beyond the three point line as well to, to make the defense have to really commit, which then opens up the floor as we see. Cowan, the league's fourth leading rebounder as they get her in good position inside and McCowan lays it in. That's the key for her. Mm -hmm. Where can she receive those entry passes? And that was great patience by Kelsey Mitchell as well to wait for Tierra to establish herself down in that low block. A former champion, WBA champion, all-star. So she's got some good help out there and that, wow. All-Star game, kind of a unique format this year. As Gonderson gets inside, and the left-handed bank shot will fall for the rookie. Tiffany Prince, the game's veterans, has checked in as well. It's in year 12 out of Rutgers. Prince on the drive, gets inside, and flips it in. Breland underneath to McCowan, who found some space and laid it in. McCowan with four points in five minutes here so far. Indiana trying to use some fresh legs to their advantage. Gondrasek back inside, McCowan muscles in. She didn't get a piece there, but certainly contested the shot. It's been a masterful defensive performance here in the first half from Jessica Breland, as Allen goes right back into McCowan. Stewart has missed a couple from out there, one of the league's better shooters from the perimeter. There really isn't anything she can't do as the Fever continue to feed McCowan, and it keeps paying off. Prince steps into a three. That one rattles out. Seattle two of six from out there so far. The Fever will take that, and Russell with a push shot. The Allen also a Notre Dame product. Stewart have been the focal point so far, and Breland connects. Doing a lot of the heavy lifting. She had an 8-0 run all by herself. McCowan has checked down. Ted Lavender sets up Cox with the shot clock winding down. And the third overall pick from 2020 gets that shot to go. Indiana's bigs doing a nice job of protecting the paint. Here's Cox straightaway three. When Lauren Cox gets totally healthy and becomes the player that Indiana knows that she can as Stewart's on a pull-up. Just two of Indiana's 31 so far. We know she can pour it in if Indiana needs to as Samuelson off balance hits the jump shot. Mitchell pulls up and knocks it down and there is Kelsey Mitchell. As the defense has tightened up something Marion Stanley has been looking to get more of. Indiana's defense has struggled to string together 14 points off the bench, and Tierra McCowan is a big reason for that. As Pete Jewel Lloyd 
rise from behind that three-point line. As Danielle Robinson starts off the third quarter with a drive, her shot off target. Super pull up three, she knocks it down. Things are going well for the Fever. You cannot leave Subert alone in transition offense. Mitchell with a pull-up jumper. Indiana shooting it well from the floor, over 47% shooting. This is a team in Seattle who spent most of the year number one in offense, and Samuelson drills a three. Samuelson will try from the post, roll it in with a foul. Samuelson was the fourth overall pick back in 2019 out of UConn. High level talent as Tiffany Mitchell responds with the jump shots. Playing with three all-stars like Seattle has as Stewart. Beautiful touch pass to Russell. Just that quick touch pass, knew exactly what was going to happen defensively as we see Kelsey Mitchell on that left-hand drive. As we see once again, unable to connect on that lay that give and go. A little off balance. Tiffany slow to get up. It's an odd man rush for Seattle. Robinson overshot Breland, who's able to save it. Shot clock down to four. Breland steps into a three. Oh, she <laughs> buries it. She'd hit two all season. She's got two tonight. Walled off there by Macau, and here's Bird. Canada on a second effort on the drive. Jordan Canada, a chance at a three point play. Brianna Stewart will be amongst that list. If she isn't already. Stewart in year five. Hits the three. Kicking the ball around the perimeter. Let Tierra McCowan work from side to side in the paint there. And Lloyd gets the roll. So that never hit the rim. Shot clock down to six. Talbot leans in, throws up a wild shot, and banks it in. She is one point away from fourth all-time in the league scoring books, but hasn't got it early here in the fourth. McCowan sees the double, turns the shoulder, and gets it to go. Mitchell lethal in the transition. The hesitation, Mitchell had it knocked away from behind. Prince out to Bird, and that's an easy two. Transition buckets for Seattle really have felt like backbreakers to fever momentum as Lavender finds some space underneath and a great find there by Lindsay Allen. A one on one look on Prince. I was a little surprised that she didn't take that one on one, but Kelsey Mitchell, what a great left hand pass. Got a good one for you in our Valley Sports opener of the season. Alongside Tolly Bevilacqua, I'm Pat Boylan Lloyd. Muscles inside and the finish. Stewart shot fakes the three, gets by Lavender. McCowan there to contest. A foul and a bucket. Brianna Stewart's with a chance at a three point play. Kind of stuck here in the three to seven range, but Mitchell turns it over. Great outlet pass. Bird, the finish. Seattle leading by 10 here. Final four minutes. Stewart, step back, count it. This has certainly been one of the best efforts we've seen all season. I think this effort beats a lot of teams on this night. Well, this, it's not just your average team. Yeah, this is, um, as we see, Breland with the long two there. Let's Seattle hold serve. They are now 7-0 and away from home, dating back 